what I'm going to do is put a pin, fold the base in half and put a pin there, comsi comsa, and do the same at the back of the body. So there it goes. This is just so that we can get it lined up properly when we sew it together. So I've got those and we're using the garter stitch as the outside. So it looks bobbly like a teddy bear's hair. Turn it inside out like that, which is a little bit fiddly. Now line up these central pins. Pin it together. And then that means that you can just stitch from here around the base of the body onto the base before you turn it back through. Now, before I start sewing the base of the teddy bear together, I get my t one of my teddy bear legs, which has been stitched along the top, and I place it, this is the pin for the centre front, I place the foot with this side out, and then turn it through and get another coloured pin and these longer pins make it so much easier than just a little short pin. And pin the leg in place. Now here's the other leg and do the same thing. And I pay, put them about half a centimetre away from that central pin. And pop the other pin in. And this is where I start stabbing myself, so do be careful. Now, we'll turn it in the other way like I showed you earlier and this is where it starts to get a little bit bulky I match up the two center fronts from the body and the base and pop my central pin in like that this is just to make it easier when you're sewing it up now I have my piece of thread on the side and I start stitching the body to the base. Let's say, just be careful you don't stab yourself on pins because it hurts. Now I come to the leg, so I have to pick up a reasonable chunk of that leg because that will be a, a, a weaker part of the bear where there will be movement and the legs moving. And then stitch through all four layers, the base, the two layers of the leg, and the body. And stitch backwards and forwards, continue doing that all the way along, and then carefully take out all of the pins before you turn it back through. 